you're not familiar with ChatGPT, it's a powerful language model developed by OpenAI that can understand and generate human-like text. But what does that have to do with your studies? Well, ChatGPT can be a powerful tool for understanding complex topics, writing essays, and even solving math problems. In this video, I'll show you how ChatGPT can make your studies easier and more efficient. And by the way, everything I said up until this point was written by ChatGPT. Now, of course, as you can imagine, a tool like ChatGPT can be used to cheat. But I'm not here to promote any of that. I'm here to show you how you can use it ethically to make your studying technique way more efficient. One way you could use it is to have it explain math questions to you. I can't tell you how many times I came across a question that I didn't understand. And then I checked the mark scheme. The mark scheme is very unclear. I ask a friend, but they don't know either. And I don't want to wait until the next day to go ask my teacher. All of that process can be completely eliminated and just replaced by asking ChatGPT. And it will give you a step-by-step -step detailed explanation on how to do pretty much any question. Now, I'm sure if you give it like a PhD math level question, it probably won't answer it. But we do GCSEs and A-levels, so I'm pretty sure it would answer any question you can throw at it. Here's an example of it explaining to me a year 13 differentiation chain rule question. I honestly think this is a game changer. You could just hop onto here for free and give you pretty much a detailed explanation that's better than most explanations you'll get. This can also apply to any other subject that's related to math, like physics or computer science. I'm pretty sure it can help you with these subjects as well. Now, another way you could use ChatGPT is for essay-based subjects. Now, I'm not promoting plagiarizing from an AI. I'm saying you could use it for inspiration. If you've watched a couple of my videos before, you'd know that English GCSE was my kryptonite. Every time I see a question where I had to write an essay, I would just stare at it and my mind would be blank. I wouldn't get any ideas. And I'll just end up waffling on the paper and then not get a good grade at the end. If I could go back, I would definitely use ChatGPT to give me at least a couple of bullet points about each theme for each piece of literature. Then I would expand on those bullet points on my own. This would have saved me so much time and effort and I probably have gotten a higher grade as well. Here's an example of how you could use this for Macbeth. If you think you've benefited from the video so far, can you just do me a solid and hit the like button? And if you have any other ideas on how you could use ChatGPT when studying, put it down in the comments. Another way you could use ChatGPT, and honestly this is the most mind-blowing one for me, is using it for computer science. I think they've scrapped it, but when I was doing my GCSE for computer science, they had something called a pre-release. Basically, a couple of months before an exam, they would release a description of a code that you had to program. You would then have to memorize your code, and then they would ask you questions about it in the exam. I hated it, and so did everyone else in my cohort. If I had ChatGPT back then, I could have used it to help me with some of the things I was struggling with in my code. It would have saved me a lot of time and effort. I still do computer science A-level, and I could see myself using it in the future as well. If I'm practicing for my programming paper, and I come across a question that I don't really understand in a past paper, I could just ask ChatGPT to explain the code to me. In fact, here's a question directly from a past paper, and look at how ChatGPT not only writes your code, but explains it. And not only that, it gives you comments, and it gives you alternative solutions as well. Honestly, it's mind blowing. I really think this tool is gonna to be the future of studying. You need to understand that if you wanna get good grades, you can't just compete with yourself. The way grade boundaries work is that only the top 10% that do an exam get an A star. So if you want that A star, you need to be better than 90% of the people that take the exam. I really think that using ChatGPT when studying will give you a little bit of an edge over the other students. And me personally, I'll definitely be using it in the future.